And we are back, and we just finished watching 2021's Vivo, currently streaming on Netflix. The film is rated PG. Run time is one hour and 35 minutes. Brought to you by the good friend, our good friends at Sony Entertainment, our guests, or animation, right? Yes, yeah, Sony animation. animation. This is the story of a little kinkajou voiced by the multi, multi-talented Lin-Manuel Miranda, who also shares musical writing credits on this with his longtime collaborator, Alex. Uh, I'm going to butcher this last name, right? It's Lacamore? La you're the one reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the blurb. So this follows the story of a little kinkachu who is saved by an older gentleman named Andres, who then has chan- a chance at a second runaround with the love of his life, Martha. And things don't always go as you hope. And then Vivo goes on this journey of self-discovery and redemption and finding a new home. I'm going to go around the table. Redemption? And- <laughs> I guess in a way because I think <laughs> so dramatic well when he he had the he had the he had to redeem himself from just slaughtering his entire family no 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 no. he without trying to give too much away although this has been out for like what two weeks now i mean Uh, do we care about spoilers i mean i don't Uh, all right i meant in the sense that he was on this mission he thought that he failed there's that okay well he thought he failed but that that would happen later on basically what happens is uh the 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 little kinkachu needs to get a message to Marta the the uh, long lost love of the the his of the kinkachu's caretaker Andres, Andres who loved this woman so much and then on the 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 evening that he was going to finally proclaim his love which no the by, day before well by all, by all intents and well, no, no no let me let me finish he was going to proclaim his love to the to this woman who by all intents and purposes seemed to also reciprocate these feelings but then at the evening he's about to you know i guess pop the question or proclaim himself she gets an offer to go to uh florida miami or whatever and become oh, become this uh, uh a singer in america and he decides oh well i don't want to destroy your dream uh, because if, if she says that she loves me, then we're just going to live in Cuba for the rest of our lives for some reason. Whereas, you know, I, I, that, that, that's like one of the, the plot holes, I guess. I, don't, I didn't understand why he couldn't just get on the damn airplane with her. Anyway, he so... He was too poor. He was in Cuba. That's did you see how him. fast everybody threw money in his hat when he was like, I can go see Marta? <laughs> True. True. Yeah. Anyway... Instead of saying his love, he he writes a song about it, and he holds on to this song for how many years? Decades, decades, <laughs> decades, decades. Where he's an old man now, and Marta's uh, she's she's going to retire, and she writes him saying, "Oh, please join me on my farewell on my uh, at my farewell concert." And that was like another thing. It's like if she was thinking about him this whole time, and he was thinking about her this whole time. What the hell? Pick up a phone, send a postcard, do something. I mean, you know, I'm... It was just like, she sends him this note, and he's like, oh, I hope you're still around, (laughs) you know? (laughs) That's not like, I don't know. And It's a kid's movie. I'm I'm being too critical, it's a kid's movie. (laughs) But anyway, the monkey now has to... Not monkey, kinkachu. I'm sorry, the kinkachu. That's right, he's not a monkey, he's a kinkachu. He needs to deliver this song to Marta because this song is all of Andre's feelings captured in in music. And uh, and I'm going to out high myself. High jinks ensue. A little girl ends up helping. Uh, what's the little Gabby? Gabby. She's like this like little fireball kid. She's his niece. She's his no, great not great niece. Great niece. Yeah, because yeah. her, her dad, dad was. was his nephew. Yeah. nephew. And her dad also passed. We don't know how or what happened, but she's also... She's experienced loss in her life. Yes. And yet she's still happy. 
so happy. I, you know what? I, that kid gets a lot of credit. I mean, they say that she's 10, and 10 isn't no offense to anybody at this table who has been 10 or is going to be 10, but 10 is still kind of a immature kind of age she's range. She's immature, and, but and I got But she was real plucky. She was super plucky, and, and I guess it kind of makes... I mean, she did carry some bag. Obviously, she's carrying bag, the baggage of her father's Right, because she has passing. that emotional scene in that car with her mother. But she does appear happy in a lot of things, and that makes sense because little kids are resilient, you know? I mean... I guess it really they, depends. I mean, the loss of a parent is yeah, huge, the loss of a parent, especially when the lo- you're young. The loss of a parent is huge, but when you're very, very young, you're very, you generally you're you're very resilient, and it's it, it you don't have that. It's not like a you know, like a, like the the the, the mother. Mm-hmm. I could picture the mother being more devastated, more well, sure, devastated, sure, and sure. carrying that with her for for a longer period of time. The daughter will and should carry that sort of sadness with her, and and it does come up throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. But also the ability to just still have that spirit, that 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 life in her, because she's little. Little right. kids are exploding with life. True. Yeah. True. I mean. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily agree. I think it's you got to take the kid at on kind of a per basis because different. I'm kids not are talking s- about all different. I'm talking about this, this kid, kid, and I no. can understand why this kid was the way she was. was. Okay, fair like, enough. I, like she's not brooding in the slightest. Right. Well, she's not a teenager yet. True. <laughs> which also, which also adds to my point. She's yeah. she's young. And yeah. When you're young, it's like, eh, you know, yeah. running around, having a blast, doing whatever the hell you do. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get go around the table and get impressions. Olive G, what did you think of this movie? I thought it was good. What'd you like about it? Um, everything. Nice. <laughs> did you like the music? Mm-hmm. The music was great. Did you have a favorite scene? My favorite scene was when hmm. I don't really have a favorite scene. Okay, fair enough. What about a favorite character? Vivo. Vivo. What'd you like? About, what'd you like about Vivo? He's a monkey. He is. He's a kinkajou. Please, let's not get it twisted. He's not a monkey. He's a kinkajou. Um, he's a monkey to me. All right, fair no enough. Chimpanzee. No, not a chimpanzee. What about you, Gracie? Um. Oh. Um. Favorite scene? Oh, well, I did you did you like the movie? The movie was cute. It was predictable. The music was okay. I didn't have a favorite character or a scene. All right. Very thorough. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Efficient. I mean, I, I I liked it. I thought it was okay. It's definitely it as far as like the animated fair that 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 comes out. It it leans more towards the kids side. Um, there are the heartstring pulling moments, but I don't know. It it didn't it didn't hit me like like a Pixar like movie. a Pixar like like <laughs> it didn't hit you like a hit mom oh, like Jesus. up or inside like out. like 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 in Coco, which also had a lot of uh, musical elements to it. I I, I felt the, the the songs were like seriously. Remember me. Oh God, that Jesus, song. yeah, Jesus Christ, that, that that's like knife through the heart. Yeah. That that song is like. Yanking those hard strings. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's uh, funny? If you think about it, Coco didn't really have a lot of songs. It was just that song kind of recycled throughout. Well, they had they had some. There was Coco Loco and yeah, and, but or not, Coco Loco and yeah, and, the, the song that he does at the car, at the uh, festival. But not a lot. I mean, Remember Me is obviously like the Remember big one. Remember Me is the big one. Yeah. But this one had way more music. And this one, oh, a lot yeah. of it was super catch. I oh, really enjoyed I, it. I'm not saying that the songs in this were bad by any no. stretch. Uh, but as far as like emotional impact, Coco, the like I, I'm remember serious, me. Remember it's me when when yeah, you know, it, it's it's it, gut wrenching. It's gut wrenching. Yeah. It, it's it really grabs your emotions and the story too. Th- this one, it, like I said, it had its it had its like uh, tender moments. Uh, there were some funny bits. Nothing really that made me as an adult laugh out loud. I, I definitely see kids yeah, this enjoying this way more movie. than adults would. Yeah. Not that an adult wouldn't. It's it's definitely uh, it's okay. It's definitely I would 
categorize it as pure family fare. Like you can watch this with small children and it's entertaining. It's fun. Little kids are musical. They like to get up and dance. I was surprised that our youngest wasn't up beep bopping and scatting during some of these numbers. The, The music in it was really well done. There's really good, strong lyrical work from this writing team. My favorite scene, obviously, is when she gets the um, the song and she does it, the Para Marta song, which uh-huh. she sings. And I will out myself and say that I wept hysterically. <laughs> yes, you did. Because that's just my genetic makeup. And it, it really spoke to me as someone who's lost, well, I've lost both parents, but I lost my dad a long time ago and it's still very fresh. So in that respect, I, I kind of identified a little with the Gabby character. I don't have the same situation as Martha, but, and I hope I never do, but you can also empathize with that, I guess, that, that sense of loving someone and then just never seeing them again. Mm-hmm. So it was sweet. It was sad, but it was sweet, and I liked the happy ending. Yeah, I mean, it's it's... A movie for kids. There's gonna it's be definitely a, ha- a movie for kids. There's gonna be a happy ending, and and even like even the villains get redeemed. Yes. Uh, well, maybe not the the big boa constrictor. <laughs> Michael Rooker did a, a lovely job with with that voice. Yes. Yes. The the little girls, the blonde and and other two girls, whatever. They're <laughs> <laughs> the three Karens. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, it was mostly just the little blonde girl being a Karen. Girl, yeah. I was like, mind your biz, damn, yeah, go attend in, to the cookie stand. Why are you here? She was a stickler, that kid. Yeah, she certainly was. Yeah, I I would say this is good for maybe four and up. Oh, absolutely. There's there's seriously very little as far as like. Peril. Peril or danger. It's uh, There's uh, singing. There's dancing. Uh, great way they, like, uh, sort of, like, integrate memories with, like, the 2D animation and the 3D animation. Yes, the yes. character designs are all adorable. I would like a Vivo stuffed animal. Voice, voice acting. Sony. Everybody did a great job. It was great to hear Gloria Stefan. Gloria Her Stefan's voice, voice is, is just is still just it, amazingly. Solid. Yeah, she is... She is a goat. I mean, she is like, she's not a young woman, and her vocal ability is just amazing. Her voice is just fantastic. Fantastic. Uh-huh. Scale of one to 10, G, what would you give this movie? Six and a half. Six and a half. Oli. Um, I give this an eight. An eight? I- I'd give this a seven. I would give it a seven and a half. So six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and eight. Look at that. that. We are in sync. Yep. If you have not watched it and you have small children, this is definitely a treat. It is called Vivo. It's currently streaming on Netflix, and you wouldn't be disappointed. I think if you like music, if you like... If you like Little Man, Little Miranda. Uh, if I mean, you like the, Spanish the, music, this is definitely up your alley. There's yeah. tons and tons of Spanish music, different styles, different genres. Very well represented here. Lovely story. It's definitely family-friendly. There is... I mean, that's I've said four and up only because of the boa constrictor scenes. I don't know if smaller children might be alarmed by the peril. I mean, it's not a big deal, but yeah, I mean, he's threat he's threatening to eat Vivo, but he and never girls, he but never, he never it never happens. He never actually gets yeah. to do it. But you know, just <laughs> again, parents, yeah. you know, you know your kid, you know what their limitations yeah. are. Nobody, if, nobody, nobody even gets like a bump on the head in this movie. Not it's, really. It's, it's it's definitely kid friendly. It's super kid friendly. Super kid friendly. Yeah. Okay. So that's it from us. We will bid you all a good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, right, night. Sorry. <laughs> it's lovely when the kids pay attention.